All right, everyone. So we're going to do a quick little uh, tutorial here on how to make this Lego and Tinkercad. Uh, it's probably going to be two different videos, one for the top, one for the bottom. Um, first thing you should always do is change the title. And you want to make this something that is going to make sense to you. Uh, Tinkercad likes to give it weird names. I called mine Lego Brick. So the first thing you need to do is drag a box. So this box is going to be the main part of my Lego Brick. And the dimensions of the Lego brick is 31.8 and 15.8. So I'm going to click on the corner. Here's my 31.8 over here, 15.8. And then the height of my Lego is going to be 9.6. So I'll click the one in the middle, 9.6 millimeters. Boom. So here is the main part of my Lego. And to add the cylinders, the best way to do this, I think, is to click on the work plane here. You're going to drag this to the top of your Lego. So now everything you add goes to the top of that Lego. Here's a cylinder. And notice it's directly on top of that Lego. So with the cylinder, first thing I always want to do is come over here to the sides, click and drag that all the way to the right to make it nice and smooth. And the cylinders on the top, the diameter for each of them is 4.8 millimeters. So if I click down here, each of these should be 4.8. There we go. And the height above the main part is going to be 1.8 millimeters. So I'm actually going to make this 2.8 millimeters. I'm going to make it a millimeter taller. And then I'm actually going to take this little black triangle up here. I'm going to lower it one millimeter. So now it's sunk in one millimeter. So I know it's going to group nicely. Move this to where I think it should go. All right. So from this point, the best way to do this now, let me get rid of this work plane. There we go, is to use that duplicate tool. So I'm going to click on this one here. Come over here to where it says duplicate repeat. I'm going to click it once. So there's actually two of them here now. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to drag this over until it says minus eight. All right, so we're moving eight millimeters to the right. The minus sign just indicates we're going in a certain direction. Um, but again, if you look at that schematic I showed in class, they're eight millimeters apart. What we can then do now is click on both of these by clicking on one, holding down shift, clicking on the other one. We're going to duplicate again. Again, I'm going to hold down shift drag these down until we get to eight. I then need to duplicate, duplicate, and I'm done. All right, look how easy that was. Um, at this point, I don't know if it's exactly in the middle where I want it to be. So I need to select all these eight little knobs. Easiest way to do that is click and drag, make a selection box over all of it. And then I want to hold down shift, whoops. Hold down shift and click on the main parts. And now just this part here is selected. I'm going to go over here and group them together. So right now, these are all moving as if they were one object. All right. So now I'm going to do another selection box. I'm going to come over here to my align tool. I'm going to align the, the top part with the main part of the Lego. Click here. And then I'm going to click over here in the middle as well. So now those are perfectly centered aligned. And now I can group all of them together. So there is the top part of your Lego work.